I'm like kind of thinking about like drawing on my roots as being an immigrant in the country and how, you know, everything that my parents have done have kind of influenced me to go to law school without specifically talking about law school since they want to know who I am. And so I was going to kind of start my essay with my first experience with racism was when I was six years old, my dad was stopped at the airport for no reason at all. And he was interrogated for two hours just for, you know, being brown. And I remember being six years old and just sitting in a waiting room by myself for two hours, just wondering what was going on and, you know, what we could have done wrong. And ever since then, that kind of like started my story about like, you know, advocating for people's rights and advocating for immigrant rights and why well, I've gotten so interested in being a part of um, internships with like congressmen and senators who specifically work on immigration reform and, you know, eliminating like the ICE detention centers and all of that and how that kind of makes me want to pursue human rights and international rights and stuff like that in the future after going to law school. So that's like a little bit of what I think I want to focus on just because I feel like they haven't heard a story like that, maybe like specifically to mine, kind of how 9-11 changed a lot of things, but it also kind of increased the amount of racism for people who look like me and for people who lived in New York at the time. So I don't know what you think about that. That's like way too basic or if I should talk about something else. It's not too basic. That can be a fantastic topic for a personal statement or a diversity statement or both depending on how you might approach it from different angles. It could be multiple. Of course, you don't want to focus only on six-year-old version of yourself. You want to make sure yeah. that you're bringing it to present and what you've done in the interim. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.